in today's video, we're one step closer to tuning the G35. Like I said, I've been mentioning this for so long, but we're making progress towards it, and this is one of the mods that I'm gonna be doing that helps out before we get a tune. This mod is known and has been dyno proven to give horsepower to the G35 and 350Zs with the DE engine. And the part that we're gonna be installing today is a 3.5 inch intake. So as some of you guys may know, the 3.5 inch intake and the four inch intakes are very popular, like admin tuning, uh, limp mode tuning, a lot of other ones like RZG as well. So on screen right now, you're gonna see pictures of the difference between having a 75 millimeter throttle body and a 3.5 inch intake versus the Nismo intake and then stock throttle body. So the comparison is on screen right now and you can see the dyno sheet. So this is provided by Monsif, most commonly known as admin tuning. So the gains are there. Having those two parts together really makes a difference and it's something that you should definitely do in your G35 and 350Z since it has been proven for so long. So now not only are we gonna be installing the 3.5 inch intake, we're gonna go ahead and save money because I'm doing it DIY. And not only that, we're gonna make it a cold air intake so it's gonna go down in the bumper and be getting the coldest air possible. Just because the cars like to heat soak, so that's definitely something you wanna prevent and try to keep the cold air coming in as much as possible. And another thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to run the 3.5 inch intake without a tune. And it's gonna be safe and it's the best way to do it until you get your car tuned. So the benefit with that is not having to get your car towed because you installed that. So that's gonna be really easy and you'll be able to go ahead and drive your car to the dyno, no problem. Here's everything that I'm gonna be using. Granted, I already have some stuff on the G35 installed that I've been tampering with for a couple of months already. So here are materials that I'm gonna be using to go ahead and make my custom intake. Honestly, it's nothing too crazy. I went ahead and got a new air filter, just a bunch of couplers that are 3.5 inch couplers. Obviously 3.5 inch tubing and it's all mandrel bent. And along with that, I ended up getting some T-bolt clamps just because I'm getting annoyed of the worm gear clamps and these are just way better to use. And you're gonna need a reducer or two, so that's all you're really gonna need. For the most part, this is all you're really gonna need. Let me go ahead and show you guys everything that's on the car already so we can go ahead and get started. So starting from the top, we got our 75 millimeter throttle body and then we have our 3.5 inch coupler and it is a 45 degree coupler. So I found out that's like the angle that you want to buy. And then I ended up using some of that piping that I have, ended up cutting some out just to extend it a little bit. Then I have a reducer that goes from 3.5 to basically three. And then I had a shield for the JWT pop charger. So this is the pop charger. It comes with a velocity stack. I took off the shield cause I was just messing around with stuff, but I am going to be getting rid of this and then putting that brand new air filter. So alongside with those materials, these are going to be the three things that I have that I've already installed. You want to make sure you have a reducer that way you can use your OEM math housing because that's going to be the only way for you to have this car running right. But honestly guys, this is really, really simple and I'm very excited to be able to install this. The goal is to have the air filter right here essentially and getting all the cold air coming from the outside because this is just a hot air intake since it's just so close to the engine and it's trapped in with it. So now that I showed you guys all the parts that I ended up buying to make sure I can get this done, let's go ahead and start taking off the old intake and start putting in the new one. All right guys, so I ended up taking off the pop charger and I'm kind of leaving this as is for now. What I wanted to talk about is how we're gonna manage to have the 3.5 inch intake run fine and not need a tune how you normally would need a tune with one. And essentially what we're gonna do is keep this OEM housing in between all of the rest of the 3.5 inch intake. So this MAF housing is the OEM MAF housing and because it's OEM, the computer knows how big the diameter is on the piping and also the MAF sensor doesn't go crazy and makes the ECU run fine with this on. So this is a 3.5 3.5 inch custom MAF housing that's going to be installed once I get it tuned. So essentially what we're going to be doing is keeping this on and then once we're at the tuner we're going to go ahead and swap this on instead of this one so it'll be on and it'll all just be a 3.5 inch intake. A very popular company that does this is InGen. They have literally the exact same thing where everything else is bigger but the only restriction is essentially just the OEM MAF housing. They do that so that the AFR stay consistent and you don't have a weird acting car. It's not driving weird. They're one of the big companies that does that and they understand that that is what the computer recognizes. So everything else you can tamper with, just not the MAF housing. So the reason we're able to get away with so many breather mods like the plenum spacer, the ported upper plenum, the 75 millimeter throttle body, and all this 3.5 inch piping is because the OEM MAF housing is still the OEM size and it's not a bigger or smaller one. So it doesn't make the computer go crazy. You won't really get all the benefits of the 3.5 inch in 
intake, but you will notice a difference because it is going to be a little more free flowing everywhere else, just not the OEM MAF housing. So like I said, this will be no problem. I can drive the car and not have to worry about it running weird. So having this is a lifesaver. This is basically going to be ready to go once I go to the tuners and it's just going to be a couple couplers I need to take off and then we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so everything is installed. I went ahead and installed the 3.5 inch pipe onto the rest of the intake. Another thing that I did was bend an existing bracket that I had and made it work to this. This is going to help with the extra weight that the piping has on the intake now, so just to make sure it's not moving around and rattling. So another thing I have is a 3.5 to 3 inch coupler that is a reducer. And then same thing here, this is a 3 to a 3.5, so this coupler right here and this one are exactly the same. After that, I have the 3.5 inch piping and I didn't have to cut it thankfully so it's gonna go all the way down and and there you guys can see that is the filter right there so it's perfect everything fit great we can go ahead and go into the driving portion before we go into the driving portion I just want to thank you guys so much for all the orders on the g35 shirts that have been coming in I genuinely did not think there'd be so many orders but I'm really grateful and thankful for you guys ordering all those shirts with that being said there's only a couple days and since I'm uploading this on a Sunday there's only two more days until you you can order your G35 shirts and then they're gone for good. I'm not going to bring them back. It's going to be one of those limited edition things for the people who order them. So the last day to order the G35 shirts is 8822. So that's the last day. It's a Tuesday that you can order your G35 shirts. If you saw this too late, I'm sorry, but for the people that do watch the channel as soon as the video comes up, you guys still have time. Go ahead and get yourself a shirt before it's too late. And thank you guys so much for the support. All right, guys. So now we are in the driving portion of the video. I wanted to show you guys that the car is driving fine because we do have that OEM MAF housing. Along with last week's video, we ended up installing that upper plenum, that supported upper plenum. The same feeling I get with the intake, it feels a little more free flowing in comparison to before. I think the self learning is important to just make sure that the ECU understands that there's different parts and it starts correcting itself for that. There's basically a slight correction to make it run a little more normal. As far as the idle, the car is fine. It's not jumping all over the place. It's not running rough or anything, so that's good. And from a stop just driving normally I feel the car a lot more snappier like it wants to go and it doesn't feel like it's choked up if that makes sense God, that feels different Wow and that's not even a full three and a half inch intake that's a big difference Wow it's crazy how big of a difference it makes because it still has that OEM MAF housing. So I can only imagine once you have a full 3.5 inch intake and it's tuned, it's, it's gonna rip like crazy. With the port upper plenum, the 75 millimeter throttle body and the 3.5 inch intake, it, it changes how the car is completely. Dude, that's fourth gear. <laughs> I had to take a look, that's fourth gear. Wow. Another thing we can talk about is saving money and we're still gaining power and we can still drive the car. Meanwhile, we go and get a dyno tune. All of those things combined make this mod literally a no brainer on why you you should do it, you know? A question I have for you guys is if you guys are interested in me doing a header install, there's three ways that I've been looking to go, whether going long tube headers, eBay headers, or doing G37 headers. The reason why I bring up eBay headers is mainly because they're very cheap and affordable. The other takeaway could be G37 headers because they are made uh, from OEM materials that last a lot longer and you don't have to worry about cracking necessarily. Even though you're upgrading to an OEM piece, it's still gonna be a better free flowing header. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video. So we went ahead and installed a 3.5 inch intake and did not need a tune for that. Alongside of that, we also saved some money and also we got the air filter down by the bumper exactly where I wanted it. So that's all good. So I'm really happy with the results and I definitely recommend you guys trying this out as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. I can answer all of them. As far as how much it was, I'll put the total on screen right now of all the materials that you would need. It definitely wasn't too expensive though. I definitely recommend doing this way if you're looking to get 3.5 inch intakes or even a 4 inch. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a really nice one to make just because of so many pros that it has by doing it your DIY. One last thing, the G35 shirts will only be up till the 8th, so make sure you get your G35 shirt today before it's too late. But with all that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.